Hi students, this is a tutorial to explain how to add a video that you have saved on your iPad camera roll to a Google slide presentation. All right, so let's get started. There are two different ways that you can add a video to a Google slide presentation. One is to add the link to the presentation just embedding the link into your Google Slide presentation, and another is actually inserting the video into your Google Slide presentation. In this video, I will show you both of the ways. Okay, so to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my home button and find my camera roll on my iPad. My photo roll is down on, on my bottom bar, so I'm gonna select my photo roll and I'm going to find the video that I want to include. I'm going to include this six second video here. So I'm going to select that six second video. I'm going to click on the box and arrow in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to move this video into my drive, my Google Drive. So I'm going to select Drive, the Drive icon. Oops. And I want to make sure that it's being saved into the drive for my district Glenview 34 account. If you have a folder already set up that's shared with your teacher, so your teacher has access to anything that goes into that folder, you're going to go ahead and select that folder. Find the folder in your drive. If you don't have that folder already set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on the folder with the plus sign in the top right hand corner of the pop-up window and you're going to title that folder. So I'll title it third grade Google Docs. All right, and then I'm going to click on create. All right, and then I'm going to share, or I'm sorry, save, click on save here. Go ahead and upload it. Okay, now my video is now uploaded into my Google Drive. So I'm going to hit my home button, and I'm going to move back over to my Google Drive. So hit tap on my home screen, and I'm going to find my drive. If I don't see it on my initial uh, desktop, I can pull down and type in Drive, D-R-I-V-E, and it's going to show me the application. There it is. So I'm going to click on my Drive. Now the nice thing about your Google Drive is it usually orders things in the order that you put it in. You put the items in. If for some reason yours is not ordered um, based off of the most recent, you can, in the top right hand corner, if you notice where it says AZ, you can click on that AZ and click on last modified by me. And that's a simple way to find the things that were last modified by you. So I have my third grade uh, Google Docs. And there is my video sitting right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on the three buttons next to my video. And I'm going to copy the link. So I'm going to click on copy link. I'm going to hit the back button. Now this part is important because we want to share this folder with our teacher. So find the folder again but don't click on it yet where it says third grade Google Docs underneath the word folders. There are three gray buttons. We're going to click on those three gray, three gray buttons and I'm going to click on add people. I am going to add my teacher's name. So if I have Miss Strait, I'm going to start typing her name. If I already have a relationship where I've emailed my teacher a couple of times, or even more, her name should pop right up. So I, if not, you have to go ahead and type in the entire email address, your teacher's first initial last name at glenview34.org. But for me, Miss Strait's email is popping up, so I'm going to click on Miss Strait. Now, your teacher has a uh, a lot of kids in her class and we don't want her to get an email every single time something is added into this folder. So we're going to click on the three buttons in the top right hand corner and we're going to click on skip sending notifications. 
That means your teacher, when she clicks on the link that we're about to share with her, she has access to it, but she's not going to get an email in her inbox every time something is shared with her. So skip sending notifications. And then next to her name where you see the pencil, you can click on that and you can identify, do you want your teacher to be able to organize, add, and edit things in this file? Only be able to comment on things in this file? Or only be able to view things in this file. For me, because it's my teacher, I want her to be able to organize, add, and edit anything. That is up to you where you want your the privileges you want to give to your teacher. All right, and now I'm going to hit the little paper airplane icon, which sends this off. And now my teacher, I've updated my sharing permissions, and my teacher has access to anything that goes into that folder. All right, if you remember, I have copied the video link to my clipboard, so I'm going to hit my home button again, and I'm going to navigate back over to my Google Slide presentation. Once I'm back on my Google Slide presentation, I'm going to find the slide that I want to include my video. So I'm going to go down to my slide three. Once I'm on the slide that I want to include my video, I'm going to select on the area where I want to include my video. So where it says my video, I'm going to tap on those words. I'm going to double tap and I'm going to make the words my video an active link. So where it says insert link, I'm going to click on insert link. And if you remember, we copied the link to the video in the Google Drive and it's sitting on my clipboard right now. So I'm going to click on where it says link, double tap, paste, and then in the top right hand corner you're going to see a check mark. I'm going to click on the check mark. Now you'll notice that those brown words that said my video are now an active link. If you wanted to check to make sure that it is an active link, if you move into present mode, so the play button on the top, click on the triangle play button, and present on this device. And this is how you can check to make sure that the links you've added onto your Google Slide presentation actually work. So now if I click on the My Video, it will take me to the file, the video file, that's in my Google Drive. If you wanted to insert your video in a Google Slide presentation, this one will have a couple different taps. Um, steps one through eight would be exactly the same as you saw at the beginning of this video. So you open up your photo app. Once the video on your iP once you see the video on your iPad, you select the box and arrow. You move the video into your drive. Um, if you don't have a folder already set up, you set up a folder, share it with your teacher. If you're not sure how to do any of the first eight steps that you see on the screen right now, go back to the beginning of this video. Assuming that you have already um, created your folder and you've moved your video into your Google Drive, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to trick your iPad so that you can actually embed a video into your Google Slide using your iPad. Okay, assuming that you're already on your Google Slide presentation, if not, go ahead and move over to finding the app on your iPad for Google Slides. Uh, what I'm going to do, if I'm already on the presentation, I'm going to hit the back arrow in the top left-hand corner. And if you remember, the most recent files that I have um, opened or used or created are always going to be on the top. I'm going to find that file, my Google Slide presentation, and I'm going to get the link for that Google Slide presentation. So I find the file. And if you notice, next to the file name, I'm going to change this so that you can kind of see the file name. So I'm going to hit this gray button on the top. How to add your video to your Google Slides iPad. Across from there, there are three gray dots. I would see it the same if I was in this view. There's still three gray dots. I'm going to click on those three gray dots. And I'm going to copy the link. My link is now copied to the clipboard. The link 
for the Google slide presentation is on the clipboard. I'm going to hit my home button and I am going to move over to Safari. So I'm going to open up Safari. Any address that's already there I'm going to get rid of. And I am going to double tap on the address bar. And I'm going to select paste and go. My Google slide is going to open up in a present mode. I do not want to open up in slides. So right now the iPad is recommending that I open slides using the app. This is not what I want to do. Instead, I'm going to select the box and arrow in the top right hand corner and a pop-up window on the third row down. The first is a pair of glasses, then a book and a star. I'm going to kind of press my finger down and I'm going to move that row over until I see Request Desktop Site. I'm going to click on Request Desktop Site. And now my Google Slide presentation can be edited as if I was using a computer. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the location of where I want to include my video. So for me, it's slide number four. Once I'm on slide number four, I'm going to go up to the top bar and click on insert video. And what's going to pop up is are the videos that are in my drive. Actually, what probably is going to pop up first for you is search URL or Google Drive. I'm going to click on Google Drive because my video is in my Google Drive. It's not on, uh, on the web, um, on a certain website outside of Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Google Drive, and if you remember, the most recent videos or files are going to be on the top. So I'm going to click on the video I want to include. It's grayed out, and now I'm going to click on Select. And as you notice, the video is now attached to slide number four, but the hard part with this desktop version is it's really hard to edit the video that I wanted to use. So what I would suggest is at this point, I would go ahead and move this because I'm if I try to change the view or change the size of this video, I, I'm having a really hard time doing that. But if you look in the top, it says Google Slides, the top of your screen says Google Slides, open in Slides app. So if I go ahead and open in my Slides app, I'm able to actually edit this video much easier using the app than I am in this desktop version on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and select open. And if you find that when you open up the Google Slide presentation that the video isn't there immediately, give it a couple of minutes because it might take a little bit of time for that information to be shared in your drive that, hey, a video was added. So give it a couple of minutes and then go back into your Google Slide presentation. So as you see here, my slide number four right now, it doesn't show the video. But if I come back in a couple of minutes, it's going to show the video. Oh, there it is. It popped in. And now I can go ahead and select the video frame. And I can actually move it so it's much smaller and wherever it is that I want to place it. So if I wanted to place it right here, I could do that. If I want to place it right here, I could do that. So you can decide where you want to actually place your video. Now your video is actually embedded into your Google Slide presentation. I hope these two tutorials on how to include a video into your Google Slide presentation were helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please email your science specialist or come to the Science at Home help throughout the day. Have a great day.